Hi guys, and thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Joyce, content for Canada Immigration. In case you're new here, thank you so much for tuning in. Please consider subscribing if you haven't. <sighs> guys, I've got tips for you for immigration to Canada. And there's a province here that is always very interesting. The, the provinces in um, the provinces in uh, Atlantic, uh, in the Atlantic, like the Atlantic provinces are always very interesting. Always make sure that you check out on them. So this one is called Prince Edward Island. Uh, PE, uh, it's called PEI. PEI is one of the Atlantic provinces. And they normally have uh, international recruitment. Um, and at, at right now, they, are, they, are, they have opened up a pool, the same as the one for express entry, and they're inviting uh, international candidates to join the pool um, uh, for selection for express entry. Yeah, so I wanted to explain to you how you're going to do this because uh, we have got some categories of workers that are in demand under this program. So some of the workers that are needed are under healthcare. Healthcare, they, they need caregivers. If you want to come as a caregiver, because this one I know is very famous, I want to make it clear. You must have trained for one year. They say eight months, but I refuse eight months because if you have done eight months and you take it for, uh, for evaluation by WES or by NCAS or by SES, they will not give you good, uh, uh, good comparison with Canadian education. So I insist that if you're coming to Canada as a caregiver, you must have trained for at least over one year, one year minimum. A caregiver can be a nurse, can be a community worker, can be a social worker. As long as you have done caregiver and you have got experience under that, you can apply as a caregiver. But if you have trained, the one that they do in Kenya, four months, three months, six months, don't even dare. It won't help. Under healthcare, we also have registered nurses, either with diploma or degree, you can apply. Doctors, they actually have a very good um, a very good pathway for doctors, for international doctors to get temporary license and, and work permit to be able to work in Prince Edward Island. So you can come as a doctor. Yeah, they also have, um, wait a minute, I forgot the others that I had written somewhere. Oh my God, Anes, can I have the charger? Connect me. <laughs> Don't know if I'll be able to edit this video. I didn't want to edit it. Am I connect? Mm -hmm. Is it on? It's Guys, give me a second. In case you don't find me having edited this part, you will consume it the way it is. Okay, just give me a second. I want to sign into the laptop so that I can read. Yeah. The other one is other healthcare field of worker. So if you are outside that, you can just click that one. Then under education, under education, we have got early childhood educators. Uh -huh. We have got elementary teachers. That, those ones are in demand in almost all the provinces. Primary school teachers, secondary teachers, other education field of workers. Uh -huh. Under IT, we have web developer, programmer, cyber security analyst, software engineer, other IT field of worker. Uh -huh. Then hospitality, we have housekeepers, we have cook, and ha other hospitality field of worker. When they say other, it means that you have to be evaluated and then they will look at your evaluation and then they will see where they can fix you. Then under trucking industry, they want truck drivers, dispatcher, heavy duty mechanic, other trucking industry field of worker. Mm -hmm. Then we have got manufacturing, machine operator, manufacturer workers, meat cutter. This one is very famous, even on the rural and, no uh, rural and northern immigration program and then other manufacturing field of workers, 
And then we have got bioscience. Under bioscience, they need quality control process, quality control, uh -huh, then process engineers and other bioscience field of workers. So how do you apply under this pool? Huh? You know how the express entry pool works. Huh? So it's the same. So you have to show that you are interested. You have to show interest under this, this province. So there is, there is a link that will be on, this, on the description of this video. Click that link. That link, when you click it, it will show you, um, it's, a, it's the official website for Prince Edward. Don't just go and search for Prince Edward on the Google search because you'll find other agencies that will ask you for money and a lot of immigration consultants that are advertising for the same. They will ask you for money. But if you follow the link that I will be sharing for you on the description of this video and probably on the comments, because for those of you that do not know where the description is, you'll be able to find the, the when you click it, it will bring you down. Because I'm doing it with my phone, I'm not able to share the screen. But when you scroll, you'll see international recruitment for 2022, 2023, and then 2024 April. Under 2024 April, you'll see several that have already closed. But then you'll see two others that are open. They are written sign up at the end. Don't use your phone because if you use your phone, it, you, may, you may not be able to open completely. Try to use a laptop. Because when I, when I used my iPhone to open, see, I was not able to, you see like now here. See, this is the one. Huh? When, I, when I use my phone, I was not able to see at the end, like I was not able to, to scroll and see at the end. But when you use your laptop, you'll be able to see them clearly. You click sign up, then you put your first name, last name, email, confirm your email, and then you upload your resume. And then you send, that's how you join the, the pool. And then you save, move next. Okay. Then you click, I agree to the terms and terms and privacy policy. That's it. That's how you join the pool. And then from there, you wait. You must do a very good CV, guys. And if you have not done a very good CV, I normally have a guy that does very nice CV, Canadian format. He charges 20 US dollar. And the only way to get to that guy, because initially when I allowed people to go direct to him, they abused that uh, opportunity. So nowadays, I insist that you have to come through me. You have to join my Telegram. You have to, to send me an email on Joyce Canada 3 send me an email. The email will give you a link to join my Telegram. And then when you join my Telegram, tell me you you, my Telegram is not open for public comments. It's only me who can comment. But when you come, click on my profile picture, send me a private message, and then I'll, I'll tell me you just need a CV. I'll send you a way of payment. And then once you pay, now I'll connect you to the guy. Because of scammers, we had to make this thing very complicated just to make sure that people are not conned. So that is the only way to, to get that CV done. Okay? So um, that's it. It's very simple. This one for Prince Edward Island. Make sure you, you, you do that. Share this video. If you know anyone that is under these categories that I have read, healthcare workers, education, IT, hospitality, truck industry, manufacturing, bioscience, make sure you share with them this video. Guys, I'm still in Mombasa at the hotel room. <laughs> Other people are in the swimming pool and me, I'm here researching about immigration for you guys on my vacation. How crazy am I? Anyways, just because my son is here, not feeling so well. Honest, wanna say hi? Yeah, he's here, so I had to come to the room to stay with him. Otherwise, guys, uh, make sure you subscribe on this channel. This channel, I'll be posting a lot of videos for immigration because content for like uh, vlogs are not enough to come here to this channel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's hard to create content. So this one, immigration, a lot of them. If you're interested in coming to Canada, make sure you subscribe on this channel. See you guys. And there's also two other videos that I might do them today and then post them tomorrow and then the day after. So make sure you watch and, and help somebody. Bye-bye.